Write a trigonometric function for each graph. Before we begin, let's label the tick marks on the x-axis. It takes 12 ticks to get to 2 pi. Divide 2 pi by 12 to get the tick interval, pi over 6. Label the ticks. Let's create a box to store the graph data. The amplitude is 1 unit, so A equals 1. The vertical displacement is 1 unit up, so D equals 1. The period is tricky to spot in this graph. We know one period exists between 5 pi over 6 and 17 pi over 6. The difference between them is 2 pi, since 17 pi over 6 minus 5 pi over 6 equals 12 pi over 6, which reduces to 2 pi. The period is not the B value. We can use a formula B equals 2 pi over P to get the angular wave number. Plug in 2 pi for P to get B equals 1. Let's draw a rectangle around the sine shape. The sine curve has a phase shift of 4 pi over 3 units to the right. Now let's draw a rectangle around the cosine shape. The cosine curve has a phase shift of 11 pi over 6 units to the right. Now write out both the sine and cosine equations. The sine function is y equals sine theta minus 4 pi over 3 plus 1. The cosine function is y equals cos theta minus 11 pi over 6 plus 1. The a, p, b, and d values are the same for both the sine and cosine functions. The only parameter that is different is the c parameter. Note that the positions of the sine and cosine graphs differ by one quarter of a period, or pi over 2. Suppose our graph was extended backwards to negative 2 pi. We could write a second sine function, y equals sine theta plus 2 pi over 3 plus 1. We could also write a second cosine function, y equals cos theta plus pi over 6 plus 1. All four of these functions represent the same graph. If we had to choose just one function to represent the graph, which one should we choose? While all four functions correctly represent the graph, good form dictates that we use the smallest possible phase shift. Under this criteria, the best function is y equals cos theta plus pi over 6 plus 1. Now we'll move on to part B. Label the tick marks. Let's create a box to store the graph data. Label the maximum and minimum points on the graph. The maximum occurs when y equals negative 4, and the minimum occurs when y equals negative 12. Use the amplitude formula, a equals max minus min over 2.
plug the maximum and minimum values into the formula. The double negatives become a positive. This gives us an amplitude of 4. Now use the vertical displacement formula, d equals min plus max over 2. Plug the minimum and maximum values into the formula. The positive and negative combined form a negative. There is a vertical displacement of 8 units down. The period is pi. The period is not the b value. We can use the formula b equals 2 pi over p to get the angular wave number. Plug in pi for p to get b equals 2. Let's draw a rectangle around the sine shape. The sine curve has a phase shift of pi over 4 units to the right. Now let's draw a rectangle around the cosine shape. The cosine curve has a phase shift of pi over 2 units to the right. The sine function is y equals 4 sine 2 theta minus pi over 4 minus 8. The cosine function is y equals 4 cos 2 theta minus pi over 2 minus 8. The a, b, and d values are the same for both the sine and cosine functions. The only parameter that will be different is the c parameter. Note that the positions of the sine and cosine graphs differ by one quarter of a period, or pi over 4. We could also get functions using negative phase shifts. Our second sine function is y equals 4 sine 2 theta plus 3 pi over 4 minus 8. Our second cosine function is y equals 4 cosine 2 theta plus pi over 2 minus 8. Yet another option would be to use the upside down cosine shape starting when theta equals 0. This function is y equals negative 4 cos 2 theta minus 8. All of these functions correctly describe the graph. If we had to choose just one function to represent the graph, which one should we choose? Choose the function with the smallest phase shift. Under this criteria, the best function is y equals negative 4 cos 2 theta minus 8, since it has a phase shift of 0.